Oh, hey, gang. Welcome back to our Pioneer Challenge. Not alone in the world. Jester and I, being alone in the world, are out on a little, uh, little morning uh, stroll here. Just checking out the land. Now, you may notice there in the distance, I've got rid of a lot of trees off the side of that hill. Now, we haven't sold most of them. I did do one sell uh, off camera, but most of them are just down there ready for us to, uh, to sell. So, let me go put Jester back up and uh, let's go sell some of that and let's see what kind of money we get out of it. And hopefully... We'll get enough money where we can actually give Jester some uh, food and water, because he is uh, probably starving at this point. So there you go. You can see tons and tons of trees there. I'm hoping for about 19-ish thousand. I don't know if that's going to be the amount or not, but that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, 18, 2, 1, 4. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So that gets us to $39,072. We should easily be able to buy... Some kind of uh, <clears throat> front loader, um, mini wheel loader, skid steer, something to help us around the farm when we have to pick up pallets or bags. Um, now, which one we're going to buy, I don't know yet. I probably need to do a little more research on that. Maybe I should have did it before I started this one, but um, kind of had so much fun at the last one. We just kind of did this one almost back to back. It wasn't exactly back to back, um, but it's during the same day. Um, so, let me put this away. Let me do a bit of research. I'll find us a tractor or skids or something. Hopefully relatively inexpensive. Uh, just something that can we can be, you know, uh, short-term temporary-ish, right? Something we can utilize for a little while until we're able to upgrade to a bigger tractor or bigger something. Uh, which will happen very soon. I mean, we got a lot of trees. That's really the way we're going to, uh, succeed here at the beginning. Is getting rid of those trees, right? And uh, we could get a mower and do some grass mowing as well, which maybe we'll do that too. But really, I want to get something on the ground. Um, so before I go into detail about, um, you know, the tractors or whatever else we buy, I do want to point out one quick thing here. I went to the wrong thing. Um, I did, the Mod Hub did put out a cheaper harvester. The cheapest harvester I've seen. Uh, here it is. The Massey Ferguson MF87. It's only 14 grand. So I feel like we could put something in the ground now, knowing that that's there, because that could be another temporary harvester for us until we get a little bit more income, right? But we also got to get the stuff for the grapes, right? We got to buy all the stuff for the grapes. We got to get the fertilizer, the mowers, all that stuff. There's a lot to do over here. So let me look at the tractors. Let me figure out what we can get so we can make sure we get Jester in good health, and then we'll move on. Alright gang, this is what we went with, the Massey Ferguson 35. I love the 35. Don't get to use it very often, so I'm pretty excited about it. We'll probably keep this one, because it's so inexpensive. It only cost us for everything, including the, uh, the front loader, the pallet fork, everything. I mean, it only cost us about $10,000 for this tractor, so uh, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't keep this, right? From the entire series, even if we end up not using it at the end. It's just a cool tractor to have. Now... We've got to buy some feed, like I said, um, for the horse for now, because we're not going to have anything that we're going to be able to utilize to help feed um, Jester for a while. So let's go ahead and just buy one bag. We also need a water tank. Uh, actually, let's see. Is there anything in the used market? Ooh. That would be really good for us to pick up. But... I mean, we're going to have to do bales early on, right? We've got the loan, so we can't utilize any kind of um, production that turns the grass into silage, right? We can't do any kind of silage production. So, although that would be super nice to have and it's cheap right now, I don't think it's our best bet at current. Um, we could utilize that, maybe. Yeah, probably, but um, we, we got to think about it for a minute, right? We got to get the mower and everything first before we can even consider doing any of that other stuff, so... Uh, let's find a water tank, though, because we will need a water tank. Uh, I think the cheapest one that I have at least installed at current is in here. For 1200 I think that's the cheapest one I have. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you. There's 1200 there. 1500 liters versus 3000 liters. Well, I think that's a no-brainer, right? Um, let me just make sure in the animals there's nothing else in here that I missed that's cheaper than that. Uh, do 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 remember, we're trying our best here not to go super unrealistic. Um, 2,500 for 10,000 liters, that's good. Or you're, I think we're utilizing, yeah, we're utilizing that one in the Mazo series, so I try not to use that one now. 
So yeah, looks like uh, that's gonna be the one for us. And it's not ink. It's not too expensive either, so that's nice. 1,200, perfect. What colors do we want? I guess we try to match the Massey Ferguson a little bit, right? Uh, is it the lighter red? I mean, it's kind of like a dark red, right? The Massey Ferguson's ish, candy apple ish red. I don't know if I'll be able to get to that or not. That color didn't really give me those options. Okay, we'll go with that one. And then the rims. I would like the rims to be black, I think. We'll turn the license plate off. No reason to have it. There's nobody here. Boom. All right, we still have 26,527 at current. That's pretty good. Pretty daggone good. So, let's get this back to the farm. We'll get uh, Jester taken care of. And then we'll make our decision on what we do next. It'll probably be... Uh, looking at either potentially doing some grass mowing, or, we well, we probably need to look and see how much it's going to cost us for the fertilizer spreader, because I think the grapes are at 50% fertilized, and I'd like to get them to 100. Um, so we need to spray those. And then, after that, I guess we'll have to just make our decision on, uh, what we do next, whether it's mowing or, or chopping down some more trees. That's really all we can do right now. Now, we could buy a drill and put something in our field that we've made. Oh boy, I can't even get up the hill. Oh, this is this is a mistake. Oh boy. If I drop that, can I get up the hill? No. Oh boy. Well, this is not going to plan at all. I'm gonna have to try a different path. That is too steep, evidently, for this tractor with the the feet on there. That is not good. Let me get up over here, please. Okay, hopefully that's enough. This is the most horsepower I can put on this tractor, so... Um, it's not starting out well, let's put it that way. I guess I should have possibly tested this. <laughs> but I think we're okay now. I don't think the rest of the hills are really going to... Uh, I mean, we're going to slow down, but they're not going to slow down like that one. That, that was a pretty steep hill there, so... I guess I kind of get it, but... This is going to take a minute. Let me get back to the farm here, gang, with this, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, we're pulling up here, gang. Full disclosure, my uh, my game crashed. I uh, got a little further than this, and I think this is where it crashed at. So if I repeat something, I apologize. But uh, that's a second time I think ever that my game has crashed. It's weird, very weird. So anyway, we're going to uh, feed up. Well, feed up. Fill up the trough for Jester here. It's not going to be completely full. I'm going to need more than one bag, honestly, um, to fill it up. So. We'll do that. Now we got to fill up the water, which the water does cost us money. So we got to be careful of that. Now there is, if we look at the map, doo -doo 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 -doo, there is part of this lake on our land. Now, I don't know if we could drive all the way down there and not, or if that would be considered cheating. I don't know, since we had to put a water uh, function feature in here on the farm. But they didn't really specifically state anything about the fact that you had to pay for the water that you put on the farm. But we're doing that. So, again, I wanted to keep it a little bit more realistic. Um, but I guess if we get to a point where we're desperate, maybe we can try driving down to that lake. It's pretty far away, though. Um, so we would probably utilize the other tractor in this instance, right? Not the, uh, Massey Ferguson here. But regardless, we're gonna get this full. 300 bucks, it's not too much for the water, so maybe we'll be okay. At least early on, once we get, uh, you know, further along here, we'll probably have plenty of money, and that $300 won't really be, it'll be nothing to us, right? We may even have a bigger water tank at that point, too. But at least get uh, Jester something here, because he's been probably starving and, and dying for thirst here for a while. So we'll just leave that there for now. Let's just go put this tractor away. Now, we've got $26,000. So the options here we have are is to buy a mower and start mowing the grass up. Uh, get a drill. Drill the field there. Even maybe make another field. Or uh, work on the grapes, and I believe the grapes need to do a, a need a fertilization. They need a second application of fertilization. And realistically, since we have the harvester for the grapes, right? I feel like that might be something we should try to focus on. So let's take a little stroll over here and let's see if I am correct. I believe they are 50% fertilized. And I can go in the menu and look at it quickly, but let's just go for a walk. Uh, 
they are 50% fertilized, so we need to spray them if we can if we can do it. Um, now, what that means is we've got to find $28,000. It's a little more than I want to spend. Here is a 7,227 one. Uh, this is the one we're going to go with because this is 4,000 liters, and that's great. But starting off, this this should be plenty, plenty for us. Uh, what do we want? Sal, I'm not even going to be able to say that name. Sal, Sal, Sal Mash. <laughs> Uh, let's go with the Russell Mesh. I like that white and red. It kind of matches the Massey Ferguson, too, even though we won't be utilizing the Massey Ferguson in there. It kind of matches up with it, though. Uh, I mean, as much as I would like to put the Continentals on, um, it, it costs more money, so we're just going to stick with the Lizards. Fenders. I do like Fenders. Hmm, but I don't really want to spend the 250 Lights. I'm not worried about. Extension. Do not care. Upper earring. Lower earring. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. I don't really see anything changing, so we'll just leave it as is. All right, we're going to buy this one, $8,077. Not too bad. Actually, the Russell Mash costs more money. Well, let's just manually select color then, right? We can make it our own color. That's white? That doesn't look white to me. It looks silver. I guess it does say silver, but on the, the actual choose color, that looks white. And this is white, evidently. Off-white. Okay. Well, I guess we. I mean, I guess we just stick with the colors they give us, right? That doesn't cost us any money to do that, so why wouldn't we? Mm. All right. Well, I guess we'll go with that then. Seven thousand two hundred twenty-seven dollars. By that, we're saving ourselves literally almost eight hundred dollars by by not doing any of the extra stuff. So, yeah, let's just buy it outright. Now, we also need a pallet of liquid fertilizer. I don't think without a without a weight we're going to be able to bring back this uh, pallet of liquid fertilizer to the farm. Uh, so we might have to make some trips temporarily to the shop just to get the liquid fertilizer and come back, right? We'll just go with the Corteva. It really doesn't make a difference. It's so expensive though. $3,200. <laughs> This is just under sixteen grand. Let's go pick it up, and let's get these uh, let's get these grapes sprayed, gang. Alright gang, I went ahead and uh, cut down some more trees. This is the last tree I, I cut down on. I obviously sold some because we're up to 22000 here. So when we go sell this, there is something we're going to buy. It's going to cost us around eighteen-ish thousand dollars somewhere around in there. Um, and it's mowing. Now I know we do a lot of mowing on the channel already as it is, but I feel like 
I'd be remiss if we did not mow with how much grass we have. I feel like I'm just gonna waste money there if we didn't mow some of that and uh, hopefully turn it into silage bales. Now, we don't have enough money right now to purchase a baler and a uh, wrapper, but I'm hoping between now and the next episode we will have enough to do that uh, and we'll find something. And I think what we're gonna do, because I normally do round bales, I think we're gonna do square bales this time. Uh, unless something changes, right, between now and, and when we buy one. But I think uh, I think my goal is to do some square bales this time. Change it up a little bit. Do something a little different. Alright, up to 25 grand. That's fantastic. So what we're going to buy is we're going to go into mowers here, and we're going to buy this John Deere 2280 diesel. Pretty nice one. I'm pretty much going to keep everything standard. The only thing I'm going to change, actually, is I'm going to change uh, this license plate to no. 14.5. Not cheap, by any means. But the only thing we're going to change as far as colors go, we're going to make that black. Otherwise, keeps it all the same. It doesn't car doesn't charge us anything to make it black, so we're going to go with it. Leaves us with just under $8,000. Let's jump into it. I'm pretty excited about this. This will be a good mower for us. Now, the width is not, you know, anything special. It's four meters-ish, something like that. Which we probably could get more out of that if we utilized our tractor, but, uh, I don't know. So we're just going to go with this for now, I think. Because it will, the, the, if we do the tractor, right, if we put a mower on the tractor itself, front and back, we would uh, have to get a wind rower as well. This should, in theory, um, put them already in, in a row so we can easily pick it up. So that's one less thing we have to do, if that makes any sense, right? Let me, uh, I don't know if I can change. Nope, I can't. So it's just going to probably drop it straight down the middle, if I remember correctly. I've utilized this not on the on, on the channel yet, uh, but I've utilized it previously at some point, uh, just playing, you know, off camera by myself before I started doing videos on here. So uh, if I remember correctly, it just drops it down the middle, which is fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. But what I plan to do kind of with this is start to plot out our next uh, crop fields, right? So we've got a... A field over there that we need to drill, and we probably will drill it today, honestly. Um, we should have enough money, even if we might have to sell one more tree maybe, but we should have enough money to, to buy a drill. So we'll probably buy a drill today and drill that field today. And then uh, the rest of it, we're just going to kind of mow. So my goal here is to try to start sorting out, or planning out, I guess, um, fields for crops. Now, I... I mean, I probably should just kind of mow right here, but I feel like eventually this will not be crop fields. Eventually it might be, you know, productions of some sort. It's such flat land right here. I feel like uh, I'm just kind of wasting the potential there. So since we're starting out now, I think I'm going to start kind of back here somewhere. This thing is turning all over the place on me. Somewhere in this vicinity, maybe, and then kind of go that way. This one will probably be a little bit of a bigger field. Yeah, just drops it straight down the middle, so that's perfect. See, it's already in a row for us. It'll be easy to pick up. This is nice. So I'm going to kind of make a field here, probably a bigger field, honestly, and it's not going to be perfect, right? It's not going to be a perfectly shaped field here, but at least potentially start sorting out some kind of fields here with the, the mower. I think that's the way to go. Now, the problem, like I said, is I really don't know... I mean, I know I can go to the tree line, so maybe that's what I do. Maybe I just go to the tree line. The problem is it doesn't really show you on the mini-map, right? Because we have that whole tree line. We have a little bit after it, past it as well. So I guess that's what we'll do. This will be a really big field. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll kind of go to the tree line, cut over, and then come back. Make a, a really long field here. I don't want to go too far here. I mean, the trees are in the way. Sorry, gang. I'm trying to trying to give myself a, a ballpark idea of how big I'm going to make this. It's probably going to be kind of like a skinny and long field-ish somewhere around there. As a matter of fact, you know what? This is going to be a lot bigger than I'm than I'm initially saying. Let's cut here. I probably should have went all the way to the end here at this point because I'm so far along now. We're going to cut it here. I mean, eventually we're going to have to put some tracks in, right? Because we're going to have fields going to have everywhere. I, I really don't want just three big, massive fields. I kind of want multiple fields of different sizes. 
I think in the long run that'll be better for us. So there's a lake over there. There's our lake over there, I should say. That's a pretty steep hill there. Oh, it's got a little deck. A little, uh, a little, a little deck. A little, by, uh, um... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not deck. It's not boardwalk. Um... I don't know what the word is I'm looking for right now. I'm sounding like a moron. Um... Dock. There you go. Dock. Deck, dock, dock, deck. This is going to be a very large field if we make this. It might not even make... I might even not make this field, actually, because our, our cultivator is just... It's really not big enough right now to do a field this size. I mean, we can do it, but it would take a long, long time. Because we're not going to be able to go at 11 mile per hour like we are with this, right? That's the nice thing about this is I'm able to go at a pretty fast clip here. What I may end up doing, um, we're, we're going to mow this whole thing today. This whole thing that I just outlined, we're going to mow the whole thing today. But what I might end up doing between now and the next episode as well, uh, as cut down some more trees, I may also mow some more of the grass. I don't know for sure. Maybe not. Maybe I won't. We'll see. I guess we'll see where I get to and how much time I have to do it, right? Because even if I'm not recording it with you, it's still time in the day that I have to take to do it. So I may not have enough time to do it. All things considered, but we'll see. This is going to be a lot of grass, though. Man, it's going to be a lot of grass. So I don't know how long this is going to take, gang. I would think this is going to take a while because of how big this field... I made this field way too big. I might have to cut it in half. I made this way too big. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it done here. And uh, if, if, if the episode is getting too long and the, the time lapse is getting too long, I will... Uh, do a little jump cut, but we'll uh, we'll go around the headland twice, and then we'll see how long it's going to take us to do this. Luckily, 11 mile per hour is, is pretty good. It's a pretty good working speed, so I'm not complaining too much. But let's get this done.
All right, well, that was a really, really long time lapse, but uh, we got the whole field done pretty much, so uh, we're going to go with it. And a uh, bit of a change of plans as well. So we're not going to drill anything today in that field. The reason for that is because I started thinking about it. I'm like, why would we be doing bales and all this other stuff? Why don't we just put a silage pit in? We never do silage pits. Why don't we just do that? does mean we would have to get a bucket for the Massey Ferguson, and it would probably take forever to fill up whatever it is. Uh, well, I guess not. I guess we could utilize uh, the loading wagon to pick up the silage, so never mind, ignore that. Uh, but the reason why I'm saying that, we have this fantastic loading wagon out here that will hold a ton. It only needs 90 horsepower, which is plenty. Uh, our, our, our other tractor, our, our grape tractor, has plenty. I think it's 114 horsepower, so we could easily do it there. Why wouldn't we just get that? It means we have to get rid of some more trees, right, to get to that amount. Um, and then whatever the amount is we need to, to do the silage pit, but really that's the most important thing is getting that loading wagon before it gets off the uh, used market, right? Why wouldn't we just do that? That would save us money, save us time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go that approach, which means I've got to get up there and sell probably another four, maybe five trees, and then we should hopefully have enough to buy that. So, field's done. Lots and lots of grass here. We have plenty of other grass to mow that we could really... Uh, add more into the silage pitch we, if we want to, and maybe we will, but uh, we'll have to see, right? We'll have to see. This is going to be a, probably a long episode here, this this one. So, um, yeah, that's the reason why we're saying we're going to hold off on, on drilling that field for now. Now, I don't know if I'll pick up all of this grass in this episode or not. I, I may do it off camera, right? But we at least want to buy the loading wagon, at least do a little bit of it, so you can see it actually happening, and uh, also buy our, our silage pit, right? That's the things we really want to and need to accomplish. I don't know where I'm going to put the silage pit, i got to think about that as well, and i got to think about which one I'm going to get. It'll probably be a cheap one, honestly, probably won't be anything special. Um, maybe one of those tire ones, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to leave this here for right now, even though it's kind of in the way, I'm just going to leave it there for right now. Let, uh, let me get into the fent here and let me get some trees down here hopefully we'll get uh, three or four trees hopefully will be enough but uh, we'll see all right with the exception of a few small little twigs uh, I just sold four trees twelve thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars up to 20 grand that's where we wanted to be at it's enough to buy this uh, we're gonna do some of the wide tires you guys all know I love the wide tires I just don't know which wide tires I want It almost seems like the standard are are just as wide as the other ones. And they're higher up in the air. Hmm. We'll go with those, I guess. Um, color and cost. I knew it was going to cost. I don't want to spend any money. We'll just keep it as a cloth color then. Let's buy it. 1526 These are the $5,631. I would think we should be able to find a basic... Um, pit for that price, but let me get these. Uh, let me get this um, winch back. I'm actually gonna leave it over here by our trees because I'm gonna be getting doing a little bit more work over here in the trees off uh, camera between this episode and the next one, as I've mentioned. And as I continue to do, right, just to continue to get some money incoming for us, so we can continue to progress here. And it's not just episodes of doing nothing but tree work. Um, you can see the little stragglers here that I left. They're ones I could pick up by hand, but uh, we'll leave it right here so that way I don't forget about them. Let's head down there. Let's pick up this loading wagon. Let's get it back, and then uh, I'll take a look and see um, for the pit, and hopefully we don't have to sell any more trees to uh, be able to afford it. All right, we're on our way back up here. I had to go ahead and sell the rest of those trees um, just to be able to put down the one that I want to put down. Uh, it's a little bit better than what I initially had told you it was going to be. It's a little bit better than the tire ones. But uh, I still needed around six-ish thousand. Um, so we've got seven thousand now. So we'll, we'll go with it and see where it's at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this first. We'll get this loaded up to full. And then I'll look to try to... Uh... Uh oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, this isn't going to work. I'm sliding all over the place, gang. Oh, boy. I need a weight on the front. Look at me. I'm sliding all over the place. I need to get a weight. If I don't get a weight, this isn't going to work. 
And even with the weight, it may not work, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me, uh, let me see if I can make this work or not. I'm a little concerned now. Well, unfortunately, gang, uh, this isn't going to work, so we just lost some money. Um, I ran a test, not even on this map, just completely separately. I bought both of them, ran a test quickly to make sure before I spent more money and wasted it on a weight. Uh, I think it's just too big for the tractor, which makes sense if you look at it. It's way, it's way too big. Uh, where's the trigger at? I thought it was over here. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Isn't the trigger here? Oh, I'm literally just missing it. So, um, yeah, that sucks, but we're going to lose a little bit of money in this. We're going to lose about three grand. Ah, that's terrible. Well, that sucks. Um, well, what are you going to do? Uh, do, 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 do? So we're going to figure something else out. I guess I can get a smaller one, right? Or, uh, or we go back to our, our initial plan of, of doing bales, right? I guess that's really the, uh, the options we have here. Um... Let me see if I can find a smaller one that's still reasonable. I don't want it to be way too small. Um, and I guess that's not too bad. 13. Right? That's not too bad. I guess that's the one we're going to have to go with. That one we should easily be able to do. It's only saying 40 horsepower, but I'm feeling like I'm going to have to unload this a lot. Let's go with that, 3,600. It's not really the most ideal, but it'll work for now. That's a much more reasonable size for this tractor. It shouldn't have any issues. I shouldn't have to buy a weight or anything like that, hopefully. Let's go try this once more. Yep, it's working perfectly fine. Uh, just was too big, I was pushing it, I think. I think it was the biggest problem, but uh, yeah. This is gonna be a lot of uh, trips, I think, um, compared to the other one. This, uh, the other one had like a 40 meter, I think, width. I don't remember how much this one was. I just, uh, I just did it, so I should know, but, uh, it's not as big as that, I can tell you that. Uh, did you do 13 meter versus a 40 meter? So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a lot more trips this way, but it will work, so we can utilize it at least temporarily. Maybe eventually we'll get a bigger tractor here. Um, That'll be able to uh, allow us to fit having a bigger one. But, I mean, it's not doing too bad, actually, if you think about it, right? We're going to be probably... We'll probably get most of the way around one headland pass here. If I can actually do it without missing bits. Oh, boy. Well, this end of this episode is just turning into the end of the last episode. Or it's just turning into a disaster. Yeah, well. At least we're making progress. We definitely are making progress. The field that we create when we uh, get all this grass up and we actually start cultivating it, likely in the next episode, it uh, it will not be as big as this. I'm probably going to split these into two fields, and I may expand them a little bit because it's splitting them into two fields. I think will be, eh, well, it might not be that small actually once we get it done. But I may expand them anyway. Like I said, here I am. I'm missing bits again. Oh well. Um, but yeah. So let's get this one full. I won't do a time lapse. I just kind of jump cut here. I'll get this filled up to max, and then we'll uh, we'll look to sort to put down a uh, a silage pit, the one I want. Now that we have plenty of money to do it too, uh, we shouldn't have any issues. And I could probably even do a bigger one if I wanted to, but I don't know if we will. We'll probably still stick with the one that I originally planned to do. And we will only have to do a jump cut because we're full. So. Let me take this back and let me get the silage pit put down and then we'll uh, we'll show you where it's at. Alright gang, we put it uh, right over here next to the barn. I think it's in a good spot. It does give us enough room, I think, there uh, to do a headland pass and then be able to go from there. So, uh, not bad. Let's turn this on here. We should be able to... Uh Do, do, do. Maybe not. Unload. There we go. 
For a reason, it was not uh, popping up for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it wasn't for a minute. But we got it. It's a nice big one, um, so it should give us plenty of room to be able to put tons and tons of grass in here and make tons and tons of money. So, uh, like I said, it probably won't be completely full the first time we do it. Um, but eventually, that would be the goal there, right? To get that full all the way up as much as possible. Been productive though. We got a lot of things done today. Uh, we still have a lot more to do, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we got a lot of land that we haven't even touched. We got a lot of trees to get rid of. There's a lot of things to do. Um, and picking up all this grass off the ground is going to take a while. Especially with the size that we currently have, right? It's not going to be a, a fast process, but. We're going to get it done, we're going to get it all in there, and uh, I'll put the tarp over it and everything else, and we'll see what we end up with. Um, and then I'm going to have to get rid of some more trees as well off camera, so I will do the rest of this field, like I said, off camera, picking up all the grass here, getting some more trees down, get us some more money, and hopefully we'll be in better shape here. Uh, you may also notice that it's September day one, I think I have to go all the way through till June before it'll stay on June, so I guess we'll have to... We'll have to go through it one one year, I guess, uh, since I had it set on, on June and it was August when we started. I think that uh, I have to go all the way through. But since I've got everything set up now, I don't want to just skip months because then we would be, you know, paying on the loan and everything else. That uh, it'd, be, it'd be a lot of money that we would be wasting, basically, just to get to June. So we'll, we'll let it go until it's June and then hopefully it'll stay on June and then go from there. But uh, it is set up as a two-day per month uh, fashion similar to the Mazo series, right? So we get a couple of days per month to make sure we take care of everything, especially the animals and stuff. That'll be key when we get a lot of animals. Um, it's definitely going to be key when that happens. So, But we'll leave it there, gang. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. It helps me a ton. And until next time, I'll catch each and every single one of you in the next episode.